I've just been moving my studio around a bit this morning and I've been um, playing with some kits that I've been reviewed, that I'm set up to review. This is one of them. Uh, what's it called? The Orico. It's a hard drive. It's an external hard drive for, um, where's your focus? Damn it. There it is. It's an external hard drive for Mac and for, well, for anything really. It's USB-C. Um, but I'm testing it on the iPhone 16 Pro. What I've been looking for is, I don't do a lot of video as you guys know, but what I've been looking, with the phone I mean, but what I've been looking for is something that will shoot, and I've, I've been testing a few, something that will shoot ProRes uh, log at 120 frames a second, 4K. And what most devices tend to struggle with is the speed out of this, um, making sure that cable and the interface is fast enough to handle that sort of data, because it's a lot of data. And when Orico first reached out to me to ask me about this, I went and had a look on the website to look at the specs. And this thing here, this is a one terabyte drive. They come in 512, one terabyte and two terabytes. The one terabyte is, I think it's 150 bucks. And this thing will transfer apparently at 20 gigabits per second. And that's gonna be fast enough for, I think that's fast enough for ProRes log, 120 FPS, 4K. That's a lot of data that's got to go through that little cable. And it does. I went out and shot some of the bees in the trees out the back there, and it's bloody impressive. This is also a nice way of sharing data from any USB-C rated device. So for Android phones, for example, you'll just go into the file app on those, put data across to this, and you can throw it onto a Mac. And that's a bloody good thing for someone like me. It's got MagSafe on here, and it just hooks up, not as quick as that, but straight onto, why aren't you going there? So I'm not putting it high enough for the MagSafe. Put a little bit higher, there it is there. Works just fine. Holds on there, no problem at all. So I've been putting data onto this from this phone, plugging the USB-C directly there into the Mac and putting files on here, get those B videos, for example, straight onto there. But I'm surprised how well it actually does work. I was going to do a bit of an unboxing for this, but it actually, the box actually came a little bit damaged, you can see there, but the way that this thing is, <clears throat> the way that this thing's actually packed, um, nothing was wrong with the hard drive. So uh, there's your unboxing, if you like. There's not much really to tell you about this besides, well, it just works. Um, I've looked at some other people's videos and I generally do that when I'm doing review videos. And I've seen a few comments from other people saying it's not fast enough. I'm getting a warning saying it's not fast enough. Well, I've been recording the B videos that you've just seen there is at Pro, ProRes Log 120 FPS at 4K. And it didn't miss a beat. You can see there when you, um, go into the different frame rates and the different resolutions of how long it's going to actually give you at one terabyte, how much recording time that you have there. It hasn't missed a beat. I've, I've actually been quite surprisingly quite impressed by this. Uh, anyway, so it's a brand that I hadn't heard of before. Um, and I've been doing a little bit of video with it, not heaps, but for all the testing that I've been doing, it's, it's working just fine. $151, I think, for a one terabyte version of this. Jeez, I'll tell you what, I remember when I was younger, the first computer I had, a desktop thing like this, and I had one gigabyte in there. <laughs> and that's, that's a terabyte of storage right there, sitting on the back of my phone. And it's lightweight, super lightweight, absolutely lightweight. 